It's time to go behind enemy lines. Pleased to be joined by the longtime voice of the Jacksonville Jaguars, my friend, Frank Frangi. I want to dive into the Jacksonville situation through four games this year. Surprises or about what you thought? I didn't think they'd be 0-4. I thought they'd win because Houston had some concerns. I thought they'd win to start the season. So I'm not going to say I thought they'd be 0-4. You know, it's been a, there's been a lot of newness, Mike. This is all new. Urban's never coached in this league. Trevor's never played in this league. There's a lot of coaches on the staff that really are have been college coaches. So you can see them learning. The team's getting better. This team's made as much progress week to week to week. The quarterback is awfully talented in Trevor Lawrence. What have you seen so far in terms of his play and his progress? He's learning. That's what I see. The hard work there. He's big arms, as good an arm as we've ever seen around here. He's athletic. He's smart. He's a humble kid, too. I think the best part is he doesn't act like, hey, look at me, I'm a star. Everybody's good. And I think he's had to adjust to the speed of the game, the speed of the pass rush, the speed of the cornerback. He'll tell you that. And I think he's learning. Very few tall guys can move like he can move, not just to get away from the rush, but actually run. Has it surprised you in watching him how mobile he is? It hasn't. You're right. He's twitchy for a 6'6 guy, isn't he? You know why it didn't surprise me? Because we all saw that, remember in the playoff, that 60-yard run against whoever it was against? I think we all watched that when he's a club and go, whoa, he's fast too on top of that. It's going to be interesting to see how he runs. Kyler Murray runs to pass. He doesn't try to make yards as a runner. He runs to stay alive to keep the pass alive. Lamar Jackson runs to run. So it'll be interesting to see how they play that with Trevor and what Trevor decides to do. But you're right, I'm not surprised because we saw it a little bit of Clemson. But he's a really athletic guy to be as long and lean as he is. He really is. So I think that's going to be part of who he is, is, is that is his career kind of unfolds here. Speaking of running, James Robinson, he has started to come on and get back in that group. Yeah, he's a good back. He's not, he's not physical like Derek is up there. He's not super fast like Alvin Kamara is. But he's just a good back. I compare him a lot, and I got to be careful when I say this. I'm not saying as good as, but in terms of running style, Mike, he's very Emmett Smith. He's not super fast. He's not super big. But Emmett found every hole, and Emmett took a blocking for a two-yard run and made it a six-yard run. That was his career. And, and James is like that. He finds these little cracks. He's a good running back. The stats on Jacksonville's defense have not been great to start the year giving up over 400 yards and 28 points. Where do you see progress in the defense through the first four weeks, Frank Frangie? Not as much as I'd like. I think they're trying. I think Joe Cullen, the defensive coordinator, comes from the Ravens, has a lot of those Raven ideas. The, the, that 3-4 that the Ravens and the Steelers use for all those years, Mike, where you'll zone blitz sometimes and you'll send the house sometimes and you'll send the safety to the corner and drop the end. And they do that. They need more good players. Josh Allen has not impacted the pocket like they thought he might yet. Caleb on Chase on another first round draft pick hasn't yet. The pass rush has been a problem.